In this week in military history, we explore the Incheon landings of the Korean War, which occurred between September 15th and 19th, 1950. Following the June 25th, 1950 North Korean invasion of South Korea, General Douglas MacArthur quickly envisioned an amphibious landing in the enemy rear areas to regain the initiative and drive the enemy back. In early July 1950, General MacArthur ordered his chief of staff, Major General Edward Almond, who had no amphibious operations planning experience, to draw up plans to land near Seoul, South Korea, and capture the key North Korean logistics and communication hub there. The initial plan envisioned using the 1st Cavalry Division and a Marine Regimental Combat Team to land near Seoul, surround the city, and capture the high ground north of the city. However, the terrain did not favor an amphibious landing. Objectives for the assault force included the seizure of the port of Incheon and securing a beachhead line, the seizure of a nearby Kempo airfield, the crossing of the Han River, the seizure and occupation of Seoul, and the establishment of blocking positions north, northeast, and east of Seoul. Morning high tide came 45 minutes before sunrise on September 15th, and the Marines assaulted Wolmido and Solomido. The evening high tide came 27 minutes after sunset that day and was timed by the Marines to occur with the main engine landing. The North Korean defenders were surprised by the attack. The Marine forces linked up early on the morning of September 16th. South Korean forces mopped up the North Korean resistance in Incheon, while the 5th Marines advanced seven miles to Kempo Airfield, and Colonel Louis B. Chesty Puller's 1st Marine Regiment advanced toward the industrial suburbs of Seoul, 10 miles away. Kempo Airfield was secured early September 18th. Securing the airfield enhanced the use of American air power to drive the North Koreans from Seoul and provided a base for interdicting North Korean forces retreating northward from Busan. Later that month, after the city of Seoul had been secured, General MacArthur accompanied South Korean President Syngman Rhee to re-establish the South Korean seat of government and assembly hall of the government house. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.